Hi everyone, my name is Eric Scherter and I'm the product manager for the editor group, which is part of the create stage of the DevOps lifecycle here at GitLab. And I'm excited to share a little bit about what we have planned for the 14.6 milestone. Uh, as always, I'll link to the planning issue in the video description so you can click through to our release board and see all the issues we have planned, but I'll highlight a few things for you today. There's a few backend efforts that I want to highlight um, going on. And uh, the first is that our, our backend team is focused on overall security and reliability, not just on the editor categories, but um, across the dev section and GitLab as a whole. So we'll continue focusing on those areas in 14.6. Um, we've also been working and collaborating as a team on the source editor extension architecture, which is getting some improvements and um, uh, building a great foundation for, for future feature development and extension development there. So we'll continue to work on that in the background. Um, the other thing I want to highlight is that you'll notice on our release board that our, our fantastic designer, Michael, has assigned himself a bunch of um, a UI and UX polish issues. So you'll see some improvements there, specifically in the web IDE and wiki. So uh, keep an eye out for those. Uh, but the other two things I want to highlight uh, are related to uh, one thing is related to uh, some feature work that we uh, worked on several milestones ago, but we'll be rolling out to everyone in 14.6, and that's the consolidated edit button. Right now, we have um, two editing options, or three in this case, because I have the Gitpod integration installed or configured. But the Web ID and the single file editor are two different editing experiences, and they're uh, two different editing buttons and call, calls to action on the on the file view. This consolidated button lets you choose which editor you want to be your primary call to action, but quickly toggle between the two. So I can click through here in the web IDE, and then every time I open up a new file, that is the editor, uh, that's the default. This has been rolled out um, in a small group under a feature flag, and it's been very successful. So we will be rolling out to everyone in 14.6. It's a great usability improvement, but um, as we make that available to everybody, we expect to see uh, increased usage in the web IDE and just uh, a little more streamlined editing experience in general. And the second one is actually something I highlighted in the last update, uh, in the last kickoff, but we'll be wrapping it up in this 14.6 um, release, which is improving the experience between toggling, uh, the experience toggling between the raw markdown source editor in the wiki and the new WYSIWYG content editor. So right now we have this banner and you have to click use the new editor and it loads the new editor and I can make changes and submit. But switching back to the classic editor, the, the raw source editor actually discards my uh, any changes that I haven't saved. This was on purpose, but we no longer need to do that. So we are working on streamlining that and making the, the ability to toggle back and forth between the two editors much more seamless, and um, all of that in service of making the WYSIWYG editor uh, a much more first class and production ready editing environment. So we'll keep working on that. That'll get rolled out in 14.6 hopefully, and we'll be looking to make additional improvements in the content editor to allow that to become the, the default editing experience for a lot of people across GitLab. That's it for today. Um, as I mentioned, the planning issue will be linked. Feel free to ask questions, um, provide feedback, and, and engage in any way on the issues linked in there. And I'll see you next month. Thanks.